Hey, welcome to a lesson on information security. In the next four videos, we're going to create a virus using the Python language. And so we're going to have three parts that will show us how to do self-replicating code. So the code will take itself from one file and duplicate itself into another file. So don't worry, we're not going to infect your entire computer. We're just going to be infecting Python scripts in the same folder. So very localized. The second is we are going to try to scan and detect which files have been infected. And so we'll use a technique that many virus programs use called virus signatures. In real life, there are thousands of virus signatures that a virus program has to keep up to date. In our example, we're going to have exactly one virus that we're looking for. But we'll use virus signatures as a strategy to find and remove the virus. The third is we're going to use a, a method called heuristics, which is a big word that simply is involved with changing of uh, data of a file. So we'll look at the uh, size of the file, the number of bytes that it occupies on the disk, and also the date in which it was last modified. And so we'll detect changes to see when the uh, uh, infection occurred, and then we'll be able to give an alert to our users of where the infection is. Lastly, I would like to tell you that this is not a real virus. What we're making is just a, a program that modifies text files. So there's no executable files involved here. There's no uh, pranks that you can play on your friends. But it does use some of the same strategies and ideas that you would find in a real virus and then also the virus scanning software. So the purpose here is education so you can see how viruses work. Now in the real world, viruses are much more complicated than what we're going to make. Ours is plain text, there's no encryption, there's no, there's no sense to hide the virus from other people, but it does show us some of the programming strategies that a real virus maker would probably have to think about. So let's get started. On the next three videos, we're going to make a virus and then scan for it in two different ways.